Hey, what's going on? It's DJ Mojo, Save the City, one party at a time. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you exactly how I design my photo booth overlays for my events. And this video will be geared towards the people who have already purchased the Salsa Photo Booth from Photo Booth Supply Co. and are now looking to figure out a way to design your templates or your overlays for your upcoming events. And I'll be sharing with you some tools that the Photo Booth Supply Co. provides to Salsa Photo Booth owners just like myself and yourself who are, who are probably watching this video right now. And for those people who have no idea what I'm talking about, who are maybe unfamiliar what the Salsa Photo Booth is, I'll leave a video card up here so you can check it out. It's me covering and going to the headquarters, just giving you a quick overview of what this whole Salsa photo booth is all about. And I've been having it, I think I have it for a year or two, and it's been doing great for me. And I figured, you know what, I'll, I'll give you more support in designing your overlays. By the way, I am not being paid by Photo Booth Supply Co. I decided to make this video just for you. I'm very detail oriented. I like to go into the detail and just showing you the behind the scenes and the work involved. But at the same time, Photo Booth Supply Co. does an amazing job helping you up on your feet. So you're not just buying a photo booth, but they're also helping you sell it. So I wanna share with you what it's like, now you got your photo booth, but now you got to edit the template or overlay for your events. And I just wanna share with you my process and hope this has helped some people. So I don't think I saw any videos out there on YouTube showing you exactly that. So stay tuned in this video. Once again, this video is gonna be geared towards people who already own a Salsa photo booth or maybe considering, but you wanna know, okay, once you get the photo booth, what's next? And then I wanna share with you the kind of work involved, what it takes to run a photo booth business or maybe just to run a photo booth upsell and part of that is the design element to make it more branded and personalized for your couple or client so it may be lengthy but i'll do my best to keep things brief keep things short but i'm really going to dive in and show you my workflow and my train of thought in designing something like this I mean, the other way how you can do this is possibly go on Fiverr and have someone do this. But you know, for those people who wanna save some money or have some fun with it, maybe you can learn something and pass information along to your staff or to someone who can help you out here. But just for fun, I'm going to share with you this tutorial and exactly what I do. I have this all set up. Hope you like this background right here. This is an image of the Salsa photo booth just to give you an idea. But I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna share with my screen and feel free to pause or maybe you can do this as I go. But this video is gonna be up so you can always go back to it and learn from it. Anyways, I am excited. Who knows how long this video will be, but I'm going to create an example overlay. Once again, I'm DJ Mojo. Thanks for tuning in. And here we go. Here's the thing, you can start from scratch doing your overlays on Photoshop, but the thing is, what's really great about Photo Booth Supply Co. is that they already provide you the materials needed to get started. So once you have the Salsa Photo Booth, and once you have an account with them, all you have to do is go to the main website, go to app, you hit sign in, and then it takes you to this page right here. And there's so many things that they give you, but right now I'm gonna focus on one of them, which is overlays. Click on overlays and it opens up a Dropbox right here. Okay, and then there's different fonts you can download, mockups, PDFs, portrait square, different dimensions. And the one that I use is the iPad portrait. And check out all these categories. There's 80s, Art Deco, Bar, Bat Misfit, Chinese New Year, Christmas, Deduce, Easter, Foundry, Free, Fresh, all the other things. Whimsical and Winter Wedding. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but the most common that where people will probably use these overlays, let's go for weddings. You can see how it comes in a PSD file, which is a Photoshop template file. You can check these out. When you click on them, you get a preview of what it is. You see this is a transparent PSD file. And you see the design right here. Let me go back. Once you download the PSD file into your computer, you can actually edit these elements as well. So my project is I actually have an event where I'll be using my photo booth or my salsa photo booth. And it is a baby shower. And it's actually my best friend's baby shower. And I'm trying to help him out here and hook him up with my selfie booth. And I'm going to design an overlay for him and his wife's baby shower. For the sake of time, I already decided to go to Easter. 
and I found this design under the Easter folder, Easter 2, Easter Eggs and Butterflies Pastel. The reason why I chose this, it has different colors. It reminds me of something more of a the baby soft colors, and I think this would be great. I can keep the dots here. I haven't opened up the PSD file yet, so I don't know which elements will be editable, but I like this the most. And I could edit the text here. I texted my friend and I asked him like, what words do you want me to put on the overlay? And he gave me that. So he likes clouds, etc. So just like you have to know from your couple or a client, what theme it is, what kind of event, what colors do they want. This one's gonna be a baby shower and I found out it's gonna be a boy. So anyways, you would download this to your computer and then you would open up Photoshop. Okay, so here we are with Photoshop and you're seeing my screen and I open up the Easter 2 PSD overlay template. See how this is already pre-made for you. Thank you, Photo Booth Supply Co. And on the right side, you can see different layers. See how there's different design layers, all these icons showing you that they're visible. So I'm kind of curious what each one is. See, this is a transparent. The checkered is just a way to let you know that it is transparent. So this layer right here removes the dots. I actually like the dots and I think it would be appropriate for a baby shower. So I can label this. I can just double click it and then type in dots. All right, and what, what's this layer here? I'm actually gonna remove all the butterflies. So I am unchecking or removing the visibility of these layers. Since it's baby shower, it's not Easter, it's not spring. I'm gonna keep the dots, but I'm gonna add some other elements here too. See, these are Easter eggs. I don't need Easter eggs here. There we go. And then I have this. See this hazard sign or this exclamation mark? That means I don't really have that font. So I'm gonna go here. The font name is Amelia. I'm gonna go back to Chrome right here. Let me see if I can get that font. Type in Amelia, here we go. And then I'm going to download this. I'm currently installing the font. You don't see it on your screen, but super easy to install. By the way, I'm using a Windows PC to record this. All right, let's go back to Photoshop. There it is, now I have it downloaded. We have Amelia up there. All right, so let's see if I can adjust this rectangle. I wanna make it bigger because I'll be putting their names and the date. So I hit highlight the rectangle. I'm gonna hit Control T to transform. See, as I drag it, it keeps the main, uh, maintains the ratio. If I hold down Shift, I could drag this corner and drag this, not this corner, this side. You can drag it and I want it to be aligned. There are guides right here, so you know it's in centered. And then I'm going to use the text tool. And then let me say Tiffany and Aaron's baby shower. If you notice, I try to do two lines. I enter that those in. On the right side, right here, you can increase the line space, 80. See, it's, Easter is its own separate layer. OV is this part right here, the top one. You can move this around. Okay, there we go. So he wants that and also the date. Design-wise, I think these texts, the wording can be more separated. I select all of it, change, see the height right here. That's what you wanna adjust. You can type it in if you need to. I'll put 100. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. Okay, so maybe Easter, instead of Easter, I could put baby shower. And maybe I could delete the second line right here, Tiffany and Aaron's. And baby shower, you use the move tool in the top left. You can drag it or move it. Um, I may need to adjust the rectangle again. Control T is a transform tool, hold shift. There we go. So baby shower, I think is a little bit too big. I could adjust the font size. I select all of it on the top right here. So just take note of the current font size, 285. I may do 260. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Hit the check mark. And then if we want to go before, I can hit Control Z to undo. Yeah, I like it smaller like that. That's just my personal touch. So maybe what I can do, I could right click on this layer and then maybe I could duplicate it and I'll put the date. I'll name that layer the date so I know. Since it's duplicate, it's on top of it. I'm gonna move it to the bottom and I'm gonna put July 24, 2021. 
and I want this size to be a tad smaller, maybe size, yeah, 72. Yeah, maybe 72. Because the Tiffany and Aaron's font size is size 92. The date is a little bit smaller, so I think that should be fine. I'm gonna move the date a little bit up. There we go. Tiffany and Aaron's baby shower. Obviously you want to get some kind of idea of how they want things to be. He wants some clouds. What I'm going to do right now, okay, so I'm gonna look up some PNG files. PNG, those are files where you, you can get images and they can have like a, a transparent background. And I and I want to put some here just to, to design it a bit more. I'm gonna go back to Chrome browser. Um, I wanna go to pngtree.com. So this is where I go to get my PNG files. And I did pay, um, and I forget what the premium subscription does. I think it unlocks all the PNG images for you. I forget, but check it out. It's a great site. And I'm gonna type in clouds. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, these clouds look too realistic right now. I want something more like this. More cartoony, more baby-like, I guess. Blue, clouds. or overlay, let me see. Okay, there's some textured blue clouds. So if you click on them, see how there's a watermark here? So you can either download as a PNG or you can download as a PSD. This look, this may look nice. We can look for other cloud designs. Let me see here, blue clouds. And I want PNG images. Again, I guess you can filter it there. Oh, this one's nice. So you see how it's some blue clouds? Open up in a new tab. So here's another th thing that you can probably try is in another browser, or maybe here, I'm gonna type in um, baby shower designs. Okay, oh, balloons. I could find a few balloons as well. Let me go back and it gives me some idea. Blue balloons. All right, I like this one, or a single balloon. So open up these up in new tabs. Balloons and some clouds, all right? So balloons, I'm gonna hit this download PNG. All right, so let's add some clouds first. And I downloaded two clouds. I'll put the second one in. All right, it's tiny, I have to blow it up. So those are our clouds, there we go. And these layers, you can adjust them. I'll put clouds one. And I want this to be below the text and everything. There it is. And I could put it behind the rectangle maybe. Oh, in this case, we may not need the rectangle if it's going to be on the clouds. Maybe we can add the balloons first. So I pull, I'm going to pull up this balloon here. All right, and you can move it using the move tool, however you want. Maybe I can put balloon here. Okay. And then maybe if I want to, I could put another balloon on the right. Oh yeah, let me hit check mark there. Another balloon here to the right. Downscale a little bit and just to rotate it, just move your cursor a little bit out away from it. You can rotate it. I mean, balloons aren't always up and down. And same thing with this one, I wonder how. So I wanna click on that layer. Nope, it's this one right here. Control T, just a free transform. And you look into your arrows, turn it like this, turn it like that. There we go. And then maybe I'll put like a one balloon guy right here. And just, I don't know. Just move it around. Click and drag another balloon up here. So I basically had another folder up with the images and I just dragged the image into my workplace. And then I could move this balloon right here just to keep it asymmetrical. I don't want to be too balanced. And then I could rotate it 
this guy right here. I may want to rotate it as well. There we go. Now I want to choose the same color. I think there's a color picker on the left. It's right here. Eyedropper tool. All right, so you want to click on like a nice blue. There we go. It's this color right here. Double click on it. It's this 4FA3DD. I can copy it if I want to. And let's go back to the text. I go text or the T right here. Click on Tiffany Aaron's. Select all of it. I go up here. I could paste that that color code. There it is, Tiffany and Aaron's baby shower. And I may want to do it. I think it stands out against the clouds in the background. To here. I'll paste that blue again. Here, do the same thing over here. There we go. Voila. I think it looks good. Tiffany and Aaron's baby shower. I like these clouds. Now, the other clouds that I downloaded, it's a bit different here, but it's actually this guy right here. Um, so I'm gonna hide, let me, let me label this as clouds too. I can remove the visibility of clouds one. Click and drag clouds two to go to the bottom. So uh, the layers that are on top are the layers that's gonna be above um, the previous one. So imagine like the bottom layer, what's underneath will be the bottom. And as you go to the top, that's gonna be the, the layers above it. I'm going to go to clouds two, control T. I'm gonna move it down here. that bigger yeah the clouds look really cool <laughs> and realistic and there's some gradient like it kind of blends in to the background almost and then as a background just to give you an idea of what it may look like I'll change the fill color to black could not edit a layer because the layer is locked oh there's a, there's a lock icon there we go um, I remove the, the lock icon on the bottom right fill Rasterize the shape layer must be rasterized. Okay. So I hit black just to see what it looks like. So it's not a complete gradient. Um, let me go alternate between clouds one and two. So clouds two. I'm not sure. Clouds one. All right. I like clouds one better. And I put black in the background just so that's imagine that's the space where people will get in front of the booth. Um, and you can see things more in the background. So, and you can always toggle this off later in a bit. The other thing I would want to do is see this balloon. I didn't realize it's like overlapping with a, a circle. I'm going to, which balloon is that? This guy. I'm going to move this down. So you just have to figure out. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. All I do is hit the, I toggle the eye icon, the visibility for that layer and you know which one it is. And then you, cl you click on it and then do what you gotta do for that particular element. So clouds one, I, I like that one. This I think has better contrast and I like the dots, kind of makes it fun. Yeah, this is good. I'm going to remove this guy and then people would frame themselves. They would fit right here. Uh, maybe what I could do is there's some white, like some white space right here. I don't want too much cloud above the nays. Maybe I could lower down this clouds. This is before. Let me bring it down like just a little bit. There we go. All right. So last thing I want to do is save this. But what do you guys think? Now we have our template. It's already formatted to the iPad portrait dimension. In this case, it's 2048 by 2732, as you can see right here. Um, this is RGB. Let me see the other dimensions. Image image size there's the dimensions for those people who want to check it out right here uh, resolution 72 so first you want to save it all right so i saved the file as a psd in case i need to go back and make any edits to it tiffin aaron's baby shower july 24 2021 now last thing you want to do is save as a png merged visible there we go it only merged the visible here and then you want to save um, as a PNG. So go file, 
save as, and then PNG it. And voila, here we are. This is the final design. Tiffany and Aaron's baby shower, July 24th, 2021. This is the image. I mean, there's some things that I could probably do. Uh, maybe I could clean things up a little bit. Maybe I could clean these dots off. Maybe I'll do that on my own time, but I don't want to use too much of your time, but you get the idea. Um, if you were to just remove the dots on the clouds, you can apply a mask to that layer and you can remove these dots. I won't do it right now, but just to give an idea, hey, this is how you get the images. I usually get the ideas off from Photoboo Supply Co. And then, and then think about my own ideas, PNG tree. I'll leave a link down below in case for those people who want to subscribe to it, but you get so many design elements from there and I think it's worth the membership and subscription. So you get all these things, you get Photoshop and just have to be creative with things and just have fun with it and you can save these images and maybe you create a gallery of, hey, these are some of the designs that I've done and that you can possibly have at your event. Have a collection that you, so that way you can showcase to your clients about what you can do. And I recommend that you do this early so that way when you submit it to your client, you get their approval or they want to make any changes, you still have the PSD file so that way you can go back and make any changes. Now what I would do next is put the image this guy right here, up, upload that to Dropbox, and then um, I have the Dropbox app on my phone. I download that image into my phone, and then I airdrop it to my iPad, and I'll use this as the overlay. I hope that tutorial, I did this on the fly, I didn't know what to expect, but I had some kind of ideas in my mind, and I just played around with it. It just takes some knowledge around Photoshop and just knowing how to work around it. And there's also the help menu. So you can always type using the keywords. It can help you figure out what, what to do. And if you don't want to do this, maybe you can outsource it. Don't outsource it to me. I'm already a busy guy. <laughs> maybe you can share it to a friend or someone who's already savvy and you can share the overlays templates that Photoboost Supply Co provides you and just use that as a groundwork. See, I didn't have to start from the bottom up. I use something that already exists and I just tweak a few things here or there. I shared with you how to download some fonts, how to get the PNG files, how to do some basic Photoshop editing. Shout out to Photoboost Supply Co. Once again, check out my YouTube video down below. I'll provide a link for those people who are interested, but they really do have your back in terms of marketing because it's one thing to get the photo booth, but then it's another thing to actually sell it and you need market materials and you need to have the support to help you grow your business, whether your photo booth business or whether uh, you are trying to upsell and provide an extra service to your couples. You know, like this is such a great way to do that and it's super fun and easy and people love it. But anyways, I if, love to hear your thoughts, put any questions, put it down in the comment section down below. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. I'm gonna wrap things up here. And if you want to see more videos like this or anything else that you would want me to create for you, let me know and I'll be happy to consider it and possibly make that for future videos on my YouTube channel. But once again, I'm DJ Mojo, saving the city one party at a time. Thank you so much for staying here till the very end uh, and hope to keep in touch with you. All right, best to you and good luck with designing your own overlays now. <laughs> All right, take care.